To write the name for CuOH2, we first need to recognize that we have this OH here, a polyatomic ion, and it's bonded to a metal. So when we have OH bonded to a metal, it's called the hydroxide ion. So the hydroxide ion, we have two of them, is bonded to the copper here. So since we have copper, which is a metal, in this group of nonmetals in the polyatomic ion, this is an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for CuOH2. First, we write the name of the metal. That's the Cu. Next, we're going to write the name of the polyatomic ion, which is this OH here. So we just write hydroxide. But Cu, copper, that's a transition metal. So it can have a different ionic charge depending what it's bonded to. Here, it's bonded to two of these hydroxide ions. And each hydroxide ion has an ionic charge of 1 minus. So we have 2 times 1 minus 2 minus. The copper has to be 2 plus. So we call this the copper 2 ion. We can then put parentheses with a Roman numeral 2 in the middle of the name here. And the name for CuOH2 is copper 2 hydroxide. The 2 shows us the charge on the copper. If you're given the name copper 2 hydroxide and you want to write the formula, you know that copper is going to be 2 plus. And you know that hydroxide is always 1 minus, so you'll need two of those for the charge to balance out. This is Dr. B with the name for CuOH2. OH2, copper 2 hydroxide. Thanks for watching.